In San Diego, an associate professor gave an ordinary machine to a group of computer science students. Then he told them they could modify it any way they wish. Yeah, well, you see what they did. In tonight's 10 new special assignments, Steve Atkinson shows us the high-tech improvements they made. I think it's probably fair to say we have the only one. On the UCSD campus, inside a secure room, is a highly sophisticated biometric system. It's also known as the soda machine. If you want to get a soda, you can put your fingerprint there. Or if I don't want to deal with that, I go to the face recognition, I stand in front of it, it sees who I am. Or, if you don't like the biometrics, you can get your ID card, and it'll log you in. So they could just walk up to the machine, touch it, and uh, buy a soda and not have to actually carry money with them or do anything arcane, but it would be it would be kind of a fun, convenient thing. And I thought it would be a fun project for everyone. In the end, it very much was. Over the past year, computer science graduate students tinkered with the machine on their own time. The vision stuff is my project. It took at least as much effort as any class I took. What you see on the touch screen is designed to look like the computer that's on Star Trek, the next generation. It has a certain like recognizable style and theme to it, so we tried to sort of emulate that. Inside is the computer and more hardware. Video camera, touch screen cables going in, we've got two USB hubs. What it is, is it's a real world project that people got to do. You have to think of a solution. There isn't the simple stuff like you get in a homework or something, and we did it. One of the next projects for the high-tech vending machine is adding voice recognition. Just tell it what you want to buy. Even though it's sort of an experimental lab, the machine is still used just about every day by grad students, faculty, and staff. And yes, it does work the old-fashioned way, too. Steve Atkinson, 10 News.